Hi everyone. Now I'm gonna discuss about 8155 multi-purpose programmable device submitted to Philemon Daniel P by K. Srinath, Sanjay Kumar, Azad Pathak and Vivek Singh. Introduction to 8155. It is programmable interface device used to interface an input output device to the microprocessor. It is a multifunction device designed to use in minimum mode system. It contains RAM, input output ports and timer. You can see the flow diagram of 8155 with 8085. Eight one five five, a multi-purpose programmable interface. It is designed to be compatible with eight zero eight five. It includes two fifty six bytes of read-write memory, three input-output ports, port A, port B, and port C, and a fourteen-bit timer. You can see the pin diagram of eight one five five on the right side. Now the block diagram of eight one five five. The 8155 is a device with two sections. The first is 256 bytes of static memory and the second is a programmable input output. Functionally, these two sections can be viewed as two independent chips. The input output section includes two 8-bit parallel input output ports A and B, one 6-bit port C and a timer. All the ports can be configured simply as input output ports. Application design with 8155. Our objectives are interfacing 8155 with 8085, programming 8155. What type of commands can be given to 8155? To configure the input output ports as input or output, to start or stop timer, or to use handshake mode or not. Programming 8155. 8155 is a programmable peripheral interface. 8085 can send data to 8155 using data bus. This data can be for input output devices connected to 8155, timer registers of 8155, instruction or command word for 8155. Commands for 8155 are stored in a 8-bit control register inside 8155. Control word for 8155. A command or instruction for 8155 is also called control word. This control word is written to control register of 8155. Control word of 8155 is of 8 bits. The 8155 timer consists of two 8 bit registers 8 bit least significant bit and 8 bit most significant bit. In these 16 bits, 14 bits are used for counter and 2 bits for mode selection. The counter is a 14 bit down counter. It can operate in 4 different modes of operation. We can select mode using 2 bits M2 and M1. If M2 and M1 both are 0, mode 0, single square wave is generated. When M2 is 0 and M1 is 1, it is mode 1, square wave is generated. For 1 0, mode 2 is selected and single pulse on terminal count is generated. For both 1-1 one one, it is mode 3 and pulse on every terminal count is generated. Mode 0. In this mode, timer gives only one cycle of square wave. The output remains high for half count and remains low for another half count. If count is odd, it remains high for n plus 1 by 2 and low for n minus 1 by 2, where n is count value. Wave width depends on two factors. One is input clock pulse frequency and the other is count loaded in counter. Mode 1. This mode is similar to single square wave in operation, but when counter becomes zero, the counter value is automatically reloaded. Thus it provides continuous square wave. Mode 2. This mode gives a single clock pulse as an output of the end of the count. The output is high normally but it becomes low for one clock pulse and again it will become high and remain high. Mode 3. This mode is similar to mode 2 but when the counter becomes zero, the count value is automatically reloaded. Thus it provides continuous pulses. Thus 
we have described the basic concepts of the 8155, the multiple programmable devices. Thank you.